good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you. Boy, I forget how muscular you are until <laughs> I see you in person, and you certainly are muscular. I walked in to see Seth, and I had this, I had this tiny little T-shirt under here, and I didn't have my jacket on, and he just said, God, you're jacked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he mentioned that to me, too. Yeah. <laughs> you retired from wrestling I since did. the last time I saw you. I did. Now, are you really retired, or is this like a share... Uh, Hulk Hogan-esque no. type of retirement. <laughs> no. It was like a, a real retirement that I had been working up uh, for years. years. You've been so wanting to get out of the ring. I needed to go back and close out my career before I could actually say I was retired. I was actually retired years ago, but I wanted to have that formal closure. That moment. Yeah. So, WrestleMania, which one was it that you this were... This was 35. 30, 35, okay. Five, yeah. And you closed your career. You had a, a match yeah. with Triple H. I did, yeah. And you yeah. lost. I did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, don't you yeah. go and go, hey, hey, come on, guys. Like, this is my last one. Maybe I could win it yeah. no, as no, I no. leave? That, well, that was the thing. For me, I always, like, my vision was to go out on my back. I think that's the way, that's the way you do it. You go back and, especially if somebody else is going to still be there. So you go, you put them over, and he stays, and he looks victorious. And I go, and off into the sunset. This is something you thought about. You wanted I to go out. About you wanted it. to go I, out a loser. I wanted to go out a loser. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That is like... That is the old school wrestler in me. I would go out on my back. Yeah. I see. Yeah. I see. All right. Well, now, by the way, Stuber is you and Kumail have beautiful chemistry yeah. together. You're very funny together. Thank you. And before I get to what he told me, I want to show something. You had a run-in with the law on the on the set of the uh, <laughs> the film. What happened exactly? So we were shooting. We were about two hours outside of Atlanta. And so I got an Airbnb so I wouldn't have to drive back and forth. And we were shooting nights as well. So it was about 5 in the morning. And I go back. It's a gated community. And the security guard won't let me in. I said, I've got Airbnb here. I've paid for it. My, all my stuff's there. I said, sorry, your name's on the list. I can't let you in. I said, one way or another, you're letting me through this gate. <laughs> and he got on the phone. And he called the police. <laughs> so I'm sitting there. And the, the police officer comes up. And he shines his light. And I get on, like, super pissed. And I got to my door and stand up. And he goes, Batista? <laughs> and I go, yeah. I told him what happened. He goes, don't worry, we got this. And it looks like, <laughs> it looks like things went OK. <laughs> and then did the three of you beat up the security guard? No, or what we happened? didn't. No, you let him off, off the hook. Professional. Yeah, it was all, yeah, it was all oh. So um, Kamel was here a few weeks ago. Uh -huh. And he, he was just. Well, just really, I think he's in love with you. I really I'm do. A, because likewise, I love that dude. It seems like, it's like a you real guys love, love each love. other. It so he a... says, <laughs> on the last day of uh, shooting the movie, uh, you didn't have a scene that day, but you yeah. came anyway, and yeah. you stayed all day, which is very unusual. Most actors are like, adios, yeah, I'm out of here. here. Right? You waited, and then at the end, right. you passed out personal gifts <laughs> to every member of the crew. Yeah. Every member of the crew. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He said that you had, like, you knew someone loved the color purple, yeah. and so you bought her a purple dress or something, and another guy, and yeah. you, you actually bought Kumail. What was the gift yeah. you gave Kumail? It was, it was a world title belt. A world yeah. title belt. And I gave him a Drax. He collects action figures as well, so I, I gave him this, like, Hot Toys action figure. You gave him some stuff that he really, really liked. Yeah. Now, the best part of it is, though, is that... He was unprepared for this, and he did not give gifts to anyone in the well, cast yeah. or crew. Well, that's not exactly true. It is no, true. No, he, he leaves out a, an important part. So I did, I, because, I, you know, it was just a big deal for me. It was my first studio lead, and I wanted to make a big deal and say, you know, say thank you to everybody and show gratitude. So I bought gifts. But when I realized that he didn't get anybody anything, <laughs> um, I let him sign the card. So I yeah. said, they can, you can say they're from both of yeah, us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which makes it even more humiliating in a way. And so, Kamel, not only did he not get gifts for the crew, he didn't get anything for you, yeah. and you got a beautiful gift from him. Yeah, no, he did. He, he, he got me. Well, he said he didn't get you anything. He, got, he gave me but, uh, lifelong friendship. Well, the good news is he's here now. And he has something for no, you. No, is he really? Kamel. Hey! Oh. It's a lunchbox. <laughs> I know it's a lunchbox. <laughs> Come over here, Kamal. Sit down for a second. Let's see what he... Is it okay? Oh, I got you. Like it. Open it. This is something that you picked out personally. Oh, Explain yeah. the story behind this. Oh, 
I collect lunch boxes, uh -huh. and I am uh, obsessed with Bruce Lee, so that explains that. This is a Bruce Lee lunch box. Oh, uh, unfit with more. Do you have a Bruce Lee lunch box? I don't have this particular. Bruce okay. Bruce all right, good. <laughs> all right. It's all. I got you a bunch of gluten free oh, snacks. <laughs> and gluten free snacks. She doesn't eat gluten. <laughs> yeah. No better gift than the gift of love. This is, this is like we really got to know each other. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> it's always bad when the other guys would be like, well, the gift he gave me was his friendship. <laughs> <laughs> such lies. Um, I heard you got a Netflix special? Yeah. You really? Know. Yeah. What, what kind of special? Stand-up comedy. I think they I didn't thought even know because, you did stand-up comedy. Well, I think they thought because I was working with Camille, and I, you know, I said I'm not a stand-up comedian. They said, well, we'll pay you $10 million. I said, I'll do it. <laughs> That's a lot of money. I can't get that, and I am a stand-up comedian. <laughs> oh, we have the trailer for this? Oh, all right. Well, do you mind? Should we run that? Let's that do, yeah. yeah, I mean, I know we're here to talk about Stuber, but since you do have one, let's take a look. Never done stand-up comedy before, but Netflix paid me ten million dollars, so. <laughs> this is uh, this is an impression I do. It's it's of my aunt Liz. It's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere. Just got a drink of problem, so. Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow, who? Moo! <laughs> I messed that up. Uh, pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> you suck! <laughs> Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Do I suck at this? Now that's funny! Why won't you laugh? I'm funny! I'm funny! Wow, very well done. Very well done. Dave Batista, Camille, now Johnny, go see them in Stuber. It opens in theaters Friday. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings.